Welcome to Mtron Training Part 61. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our basic nitrous control. Our basic nitrous control is going to be turning on or off a nitrous solenoid in a stage style format. So we might have multiple different stages, but the key here is going to be just a basic relay that we're going to turn on or off to turn on or off a nitrous solenoid to start or initiate our nitrous spray or stop it. We're going to go through all the programming details, making sure that we're accounting for representing the proper amount of nitrous we're spraying into the engine. So the Mtron is going to be accounting for how much fuel it needs to add, making sure we're covering the ignition retard rule of thumb when we're spraying our nitrous, depending if we're on pump gas, so if we're on race gas ethanol type of fuels, and going through the staging setup for working with up to four different stages of our nitrous control. We're gonna have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can take a look at working with our basic nitrous control configuration. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our nitrous control tuning and programming within our Mtron ECU. We're going to find we have a couple different varieties of nitrous control we might encounter or we might want to implement for our engine. What we're going to cover in this tutorial is the basic on-off nitrous control. We might have up to four stages of nitrous control, but this would be turning on or off a nitrous solenoid to start to spray our nitrous. We do have a progressive or pulse with modulated style control we're going to cover in the next tutorial just so we can keep things very focused and straightforward for this basic on-off control, not have a super, super long video that's going to be looking at every single scenario with our nitrous control. The first thing I want to talk about here in this tutorial is understanding some of the fundamentals with nitrous control, making sure we understand the differences between wet and dry and fogger and direct port, and then we'll move into taking a look at a schematic, all the components that you're going to need to integrate in order to have the Mtron control nitrous solenoid and be able to turn it on off in our programming and getting the results that you're after um, in terms of what we need to add for fuel and for spark timing and everything else associated with our nitrous control. So the first thing we're going to take a look at here is the difference between a dry and a wet shot of nitrous. So coming up on screen I have two pictures that are going to help illustrate this. On the left hand side we're going to find this is our dry type of nitrous control and then on the right hand side we're going to find this is our wet type of nitrous control. Now in either of these situations, looking at this, we have a nitrous nozzle mounted on the intake. And this configuration, this is known as a fogger style nitrous system, where we're just going to be spraying right into the intake, which is going to go into the throttle body, going through the intake manifold, and be distributed into the engine. Now with a fogger style nitrous kit like this, whether it's going to be wet or dry, we don't want to run much higher than a hundred shot of nitrous. Anything higher than that, we might run into distribution problems as that nitrous is being ingested into the engine. The intake manifolds typically don't flow evenly. And as a result, we're going to find uneven distribution of nitrous between cylinders, which can result in one cylinder starting to knock or pre-ignite. We want to avoid that. So anything higher than 100 shot, I would recommend moving to a direct port, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. But getting back here, the differences between dry and wet. On the left-hand side, with our dry kit, we're just going to be spraying nitrous only. We're not going to be spraying fuel and on the right hand side that's our wet kit. The difference is going to be the wet sprays both fuel and nitrous and on the right of the left side here of the dry it just sprays nitrous. Now on the dry setup here a couple things to keep in mind with this. We spray the nitrous into the engine we need to have additional fuel being added. This is kind of similar idea if we're forced induction we're going to be bringing in more cylinder pressure and this is going to be bringing in additional airflow uh, with the nitrous spraying. In this situation, we need to ramp up our fuel delivery. Because we're not spraying the fuel when the nitrous is coming in and spraying, we don't have a separate jet or a nozzle spraying the fuel in as we would find with wet, we need to increase our fuel delivery through the port fuel injectors. So we'll find that we need to make sure that we have enough injector size, or enough flow rate from our injectors, and enough flow rate from the fuel pump to support the higher fuel flow rate demands when we're spraying nitrous with a dry kit. That's one stipulation you definitely need to keep in mind. You might need to increase your injector size if you're going with the dry route. Now, talking about our wet, when we're spraying our wet style nitrous control, we need to make sure that the fuel jet is proportional to the nitrous jet, meaning there's gonna be a ratio for the orifice size. So let's just say in our nitrous we're spraying 100 shot, the orifice that restricts the nitrous as it's spraying through the nozzle, that'll be fixed so it's a hundred shot. The fuel has to be ratioed to that nitrous jet size. There's lookup charts, you can figure out all this information right from the nitrous kit manufacturer that you're purchasing from. 
even if you're purchasing just uh, the, the, the pills, the nitrous pills and the, the orifices that you put into those nozzles, there'll be lookup charts that you can figure all of that out. You'll be handling all of the fuel delivery for that um, and not sending an additional fuel through the port injector. So the Mtron, in the situation with a wet kit, we're not increasing any more fuel delivery. It's handled all in a mechanical manner through that separate jet size and done that way. And the dry, we are gonna be increasing that uh, the injector pulse width is going to be increasing. We're going to increase the injector flow rate, or the fuel flow rate, I should say, through the injector to be able to deliver the additional fuel we need. Now, whether we're going to be a wet or a dry kit, we're also going to have to reduce our timing or retard our timing because as we're spraying the nitrous into our engine, it's going to generate more cylinder pressure. Just as a force induction example, supercharged, turbocharged situation, we need to reduce our timing because the cylinder pressure will get too high. In that situation, we can lead to knock or pre-ignition. Same kind of concept here is gonna apply with nitrous control. So we need to pull some timing out. So when we're spraying our nitrous, we're gonna set up the Mtron. So if we're in a dry situation, it's gonna add fuel and pull timing. If we're in a wet situation, we have a wet kit. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.